Hello, it's Nancy today. Well, Yadira had a baby, and I'm going to show you how to make a baby blanket. First, you buy some flannel. Now, I have the 45 inch flannel, so what I did was I measured out, it was the 45 inches, so I tipped it over like that and then I tipped it over like that. Now I'm showing you on a small scale but this is exactly what you do. So I made, then I cut it. Okay. Then I put right sides together and I sewed around two sides. Now I used um, I use dental floss because dental floss, wax dental floss doesn't slip. Okay, I'll show you how I did that. Need to make a big enough knot so it won't slip through the flannel. To make a knot you wind it around your finger and then you roll it back and forth until it goes in. Okay, so then I took this and I sewed a seam around two sides. I don't have a sewing machine so I did it by hand. And I went back and forth at the corners because the corners are the places that are most likely to unravel. So I did this on two sides. Of course it's much bigger because it's 45 inches wide. So then I, I sewed up two sides. Now I didn't, I already have a fold on one side. Okay, and so here's where I'll stop my sewing for a minute. Okay. And then I took some, it's getting warm in here, then I took some flannel, I mean some batting, Okay, and I laid the batting on it. Of course, I used one piece of batting. This piece is too small. But I'll show you what I did. I did it with one piece. Okay, and then I reached inside of it, and I pinned it on. Let me get my pins, just a second. Perfect, Mom. Well, you're doing a great job. It looks excellent. Okay, so I reached inside and I pinned it, making sure that all the pins are on the claw fabric side, not on the batting side, because you want to be able to remove the pins later. You don't want pins in your baby blanket. Right? Right. So I reached inside and did this. Okay, and then that's where we are now. I have pinned it. Now this batting has is bumpy. I don't think it's going to be very good. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to reach inside and turn it inside out. And I'll make sure I get my corners out properly. And now, because I have pinned it, my batting should be right in place. Okay. 
And so you have to line it all up in there. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it over on the end like that. And you're going to sew it. Use your same thing and use a blind stitch this time. Come in from the out from the inside. Okay. And then you tuck this one corner around the around the blanket or the fabric inside. And that one goes against against it. And you sew it up. You try and hide your stitches. go across and then you go inside and then you come back up. So you should end up with just little bits showing. You can pin this if you want. You re Make sure you remove all your pins. So they're not going to end up in the blanket when you give it to the baby. There you go. And then I don't really know how you do your knot so it's hidden. But make a knot somewhere inside there. One way to do it would be to make your knot. As far inside as you can and then you take your extra yarn that's left over and stick it inside. There, so that pulls it and then you can cut off your yarn. Okay, so there's your, this is your quilt. Now to keep your fabric in place you can take yarn and you can, with yarn, or you can stitch it, but with yarn you can go in and out and then you leave a little bit you leave a little bit and you tie it. Now this is yarn, not dental floss that you're supposed to be using. This is actually dental floss. And then you clip them off. And you do that all over your quilt so that um, these, when you wash it, the batting will stay in place and these bits of yarn will fluff up. And leave them about an inch long. And you do that all over your little quilt. And that's how you make a baby quilt. Okay? Bye!